Boo staring at. That's just watching you. Well, you're not meant to be round here. Well, clear off your mother, wonder where you got to. I'm only going on. my fifth packet today. I hope that bloody lot doesn't come down. We have to turn up for That's not been old, you know. He's just adding to the problem, isn't he? That's all he's doing. He just gets everyone nervous. Who's talking back there? I ask for silence. Can I have absolute I'll tell you what, Williams. Just put him in the smallest room that you can find in this place, all right? Happy birthday, sir. Evening, girls. 
This is Mr. Sorry, Richie's girls. Sorry, my colleagues are busy lifting the lorry at the moment, trying to be waiting for me. Sir? Sir, yes, sir. Oh, sorry. Yeah. All right, cheers. Cheers, bro. Why don't you get yourself a drink? Yes, I am. Do you know, I hate these bloody tatty parties of his. I take it the area is now ah. being totally cleared. Will you tell them all his I'm master's very close voice, to eh? losing my temper? Half an hour at the most. You know, he's had that lorry vertical for the last two hours. I have no idea why we're still here. Hey, girls. Listen, why don't you come through here, eh? Show you something really interesting. Come on, come on, let's have it. Through here, that's it. Here you go. You're all old enough now, or you should be. Now, do you know what this is, girls? This is a half a million pounds worth of new equipment. We've just had it installed, haven't we, Williams? Yes, sir. And with this equipment, we can do practically anything. Now, let us let us listen to the voice of our beloved leader. But please wait and watch for my signal. Now, if that man over there, will you You'll be doing television adverts next. Thank you. Oh, yeah. There's a boy here watching us. Zoom in on him, John. Policeman, most important. Do we know how to spell symptoms? Everybody write it down. Now. And do we know how to spell symptoms? I don't think we do. Stop it, Ed. Turner, isn't it? Yes, sir, that's right. That's my name. What are you doing over here? I've just come to see you, sir. Me? Why? Uh, Mr. Thomas sent me to find you. We've, um, the duplicate is broken down. Oh, not again. Well, it just needs kicking. Did you do that? Yes, sir, I did that. You seem to seep into every corner of the school, Turner, like the smells from the cafeteria. Well, you can rub it all out during your lunch break. It's very hard to get off, sir. It's indelible. Well, then you can do it every day for the rest of the week. I don't think this term's ever going to finish, Turner, for either of us. Come on, bugger off.
It's all right. I just put that there to stop us going in. Do us. Yeah, look, it's in the room for the whole of the day. Cut hair off. Yeah, make the street. Stop the noise. Irritate you, mate. Right? So stupid. Caring so much about football. Yeah, we do too. Yeah, we'll give that a rest now. Yeah, I don't think about it all the time. She's been doing that so often. She's got blisters. This pig on her feet. How do you? I know. I've nearly finished for today. It's her birthday soon. I'm guessing we should be spending it. Eh? Yeah, well, you'll be at the match, won't you? Is that a match? Yeah, probably. So am I. I get the cap. Do you realise that in three weeks, I'll be at this hole forever? Travelling around the world. Might get in an oil tanker up the Mississippi. Get some birds on the deck. Mattresses. Piss off! in a match on Saturday. Kill ya. What do you mean, kill ya? What do you mean? I don't mean really kill me, of course. But it's a joke. You and me, outside the match, have a fight. You'll look like we're tearing each other to bits. Like you're trying to kill me. And then they'll, they'll all believe it. Get really worked up. But you won't touch me at all. Like the rest of me on the telly. I'll give you the yacht if you do it. You should be home now, shouldn't you, son? I've been home. The left thing I left ain't behind. What have you got in here, anyway? A pair of shoes. The sneakers. Touch the radio and I'll blow his head off. Tell him to open up. Open, open.
bags. What are they using all those school plays? Nothing they look like. Yeah, they're very heavy. And they're leaking a bit as well. I need some masks, but we won't use those. So people can see us properly. Better open your own work. Gotta look as if you're working. Put those fags away. That's wrong. Hey, Juno, you can't draw a straight line of a ruler. But I know the answers, don't I? Now. You come at me with a knife like this. Really close. It's all right, it's not offensive or anything like that. Come up to me really close. And I scream as loud as I can. Like this. <gasps> so everybody is watching us. And then I drop one of these. Are you listening? And then you drop the pen knife and run. And everybody will be shouting and jumping up and down, trying to get a better look. And the police will come and question me and run after you. Then they'll find out it's all a joke. How? Because I'll tell them, of course. How do you think? Get really angry, though. No, they won't. They haven't got the time. We're too young, you see. We can do anything. There's no laws against jokes. Why are we doing it? To surprise them. That's why. Take the tap. Don't know they can see for these things. I told you, get the knife out. It won't open. It can't. Come on.
sew you up. No damage to the lungs. No change in ten minutes. No bleeding in the abdominal cavity. Observation for 24 hours, check his pulse, pressure, and girth measurements every half an hour. Are his parents coming? We rang home once, no reply. Have we now split? The boy who was seen attacking you, he ran away, right? Yeah, I saw him run away. Now, I want you to answer these questions very carefully, right? OK. Did you provoke this boy? Make him angry? No. Do you know any reason why he should want to attack you? No. Sir? How's it going, Ron? Have you ever seen him before? Is that my school? Oh, yes. And which school is that? What's his name? Mike. Mike Simmons. He's got red hair. Yeah? Go on, then. He's... Come on, come on. You've got to tell us everything. He's a bit weird, you see. Weird? How do you mean weird? He's very, um... ...aggressive. He can frighten you sometimes. He suddenly changes. His eyes sort of change colour. He talks about attacking people. Actually attacking them. And how he likes the idea of being on the run. Sometimes he talks about killing people. What kind of people? Like me. People. How do you know all this? I share a desk with him at school. Yeah? Seen weird things he's drawn. And other things he's written. What kind of things? All right, gentlemen, thank you. That's enough. I just say five minutes. All right? Now, give me your hand. We found something strange, you know. There was, uh, there was this stuff on your trousers. That's why you threw at me. He just threw it at me. I didn't see much from then. That's when I shouted. Hmm. You ought to look under his bed. He's got some really strange things under there. Do you know where this mic lives? Nelson Road, number 13. All right, thank you. Now, you must rest, all right? You're not telling me the truth, Eddie. You're lying right. to me. Oh, try and find me out a decent cup of coffee, will you? Did you see that little kid getting stabbed today? He was only about this, eh? Two teas, please. Was that what all that hassle was about, then? Yeah. It oh. weren't moving, you know. There's blood everywhere. Oh, I remember that. It was good, that, wasn't it? <laughs> Who done it? Don't know. Couldn't see. Couldn't see too many people. 
You want to roll one of these? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, you're tea, eh? Still goose. You say so? Yeah, I say so. I suppose you want money for that now, don't you? Definitely. Oh, it's rubbish, son. Rubbish, rubbish. I'm going to complain to my health counsellor. Hello. This place ain't what it used to be, is it? No, it isn't. How would you know, love? How would you know, eh? How would you know? We used to do really odd things here, you know? It was great on a Saturday night. We used to go and take the old jukebox outside, eat the tables, you know? It was real fun. Hey, punks! Look at the state of you! Who let them in? Hey, get out! Look at the state. You look like a bloody Christmas tree. You know what you look like? No, don't stay. Actually, you decorate the place quite nicely. They look like they look like last year's record cover, don't they? Yeah, unlimited edition. <laughs> Oi, I want to go dancing. Christine wants to go dancing, yeah. boys. We're not angry about it. Christine wants to go dancing. Oh. Yeah. I tell you what, we do. We'll take Christine down to the star machine. Now, come on. <laughs> Out you go. Come move. Sorry, can you? You're gonna boy at the match. You got a tat. Was he really hurt bad? Yeah? I mean, really? Hey, Christine. Fancy this one, do you? Christine wants you to come to the disco. You're a lucky man. Come on. Three and one, thirty-one. Four and eight, forty-eight. All the fives, fifty-five. All the fours, forty-four. Oh, here we go. Four. You might have got a butterfly on your neck.
showtime, so if you can all get off the dance floor. Now, I expect all you disco fiends have been practicing morn, noon, and night to find out if any of you are going to make it to the Royal Albert Hall. Yeah, right. Anyway, tonight we've got Sarah Lowe. So come on, Sarah. We're all going to watch you dance. How'd you get on with those calls to the school? I tried three times, sir. All I got was the answering machine. Answering machine? Jesus Christ, I hate those bloody things. OK, right, leave this lot with me. You found them, then? How did you know these things were in his room? He invited me to tea. He showed me them. He laid them all out on the floor. You're smaller than I thought you would be. Andrew, you are quite like a policeman, I'm telling you. You want the same. Ah, oh, now you know where they got it from, then, don't you? Are you hunting for him now? We're looking for him, yeah. Usual places. What did you say your name was? Leo. Leo. What kind of a name is that? It's not my real name. I'm still waiting for that coffee. I'm okay. just trying to get your phone call, sir. I just remembered something. Yes? Something you said. What? He said he wanted to do something extraordinary. Yes. He talked about it all last week. What's that? How he wanted to be a, like a killer and how he'd make it happen. He said he'd do it before he was 12. And it's his birthday tomorrow, you see. And you heard him say all this yourself, did you? Are you telling me the truth now? Yes. Because if you're not, you'll be right in trouble. He tried to kill me, didn't he? Yeah, right. Hello, everybody. Right, now, I want you to go into two lines over there, please. We're looking for an 11-year-old child. This isn't a raid. We'd like your cooperation, and then you can get back to your dancing, or you can sniff glue, or you can take amphetamines, or you can do what you like. But get over there. This is not a raid. Everybody up. It's too nice. Just get over there. So we can see all your smiling, happy faces. Tony, give, give it a big smile. Right, can you stand up? No standing up for the ball, please. Can you all stand up? Right? Yeah, come on now. Uh, okay, now what we're gonna do? We're gonna frisk you, all, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your buckets, and we want y'all to dump your stuff on the floor, okay? okay. We're not having this. We're just looking for the best situation. Right. Okay. 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 Can you stand up a bit, love? Can you stand up, mate, please? Oi, where are you going? <laughs> what the? Please, please. Oh, no, what do we get? What's that? What's that? What's that?
Knock one of them out. You better not try those methods with me. I'm just waiting for my chance. Tonight looks promising. I really think it does. Yes, I promise. Look, I promise you'll be back within the hour. No, no, this won't take long. No, I'm going to see this soon. Look, I'll be with you very soon, all right? No, I will. Oi! Uh, look, find me back, will you? Uh, five, six, four, three. Oi! How did you get up here? I walked. Lifts aren't working. I hear some little 11-year-old got done over. What are we, from the local enthusiastic radio station, are we? Match, right? Some maniac, some little maniac went berserk. No comment, absolutely no comment. Look, why don't you get your ass out of here? There wouldn't be so many police around here if something wasn't going on. <laughs> now, look, I don't particularly want to be rude, but if you don't get out of here in 30 seconds, I'm going to have to put you inside for the night. <laughs> and wear some socks next time, it's winter. Now, you have just lost any chance you ever had of getting this story. Yes, it's me. No, I just got to wrap this one up. No, I can't. Nobody else can make a decent job of it. You're very efficient. No. No, just William's giving me a bit of chocolate. Yeah. Okay, then back soon, then, eh? Bye. Come on in. You found him yet? Not quite. Oh, this bloody rubbish. Oh, out come the guns. Never show it hurting, do they? 
I'd have blown his bloody head off. Do you, um, do you know anything about this? No. Why? We found it under your mate's bed. Any idea how he got hold of it? No idea. Is it yours? They're at it all the time, aren't they? Well, I've never heard of a policeman yet. Where are you off to? No way, I was thinking. Thinking? Good. Good, come on, you're coming with me. Right, come on. Right, let's have a bit of this farm. Fancy this one there, eh? <laughs> Which one would you like? Don't like any of that lot of flames on a drum. No, nah, you're not going anywhere. What's this one, do you? No bother, no bother at all. Come on, oi, you in. Come on, get in the car. I want you to see the new car anyway. Come on, get in. <coughs> uh, she goes a little bit reluctant, that's all. Smells of disinfectant in here. Where do you want to go? I can't stay long. I need to get home. No, I wouldn't go home if I were you. It might not be the best idea. Listen, I nick a car every Saturday night, well, roughly every Saturday, you know. I'll get around quicker. Public transport's got worse and worse, hasn't it? And this is one of the fastest cars I've ever had. About six months ago, I nicked a motorbike. Brand new thing it was. Amazing. Great big thing. Black and green. I buried it on a mud flat. It's four o'clock in the morning, I buried it. It's like burying a body. Don't they have a tattoo? Nah, there's no risk at all. It's all right. Unless, of course, you try and flog them. Then you get caught. The trick is not to have any sort of crash. You're quite OK. I'd like to bury a car soon. Yeah, you challenge that old car. I'd like to bury it. Come on, change the music. Wouldn't you let put me down there? Nah. He's got a trendy choice in music, this guy. I wonder what he does. Nah, you're not going to get out, kitty. No way. Nah, just don't worry. See that? That camera up there? If you're going over four mile an hour, they're meant to clob you. With everything they've got, all of a sudden there's squad cars surrounding you everywhere. Hmm. Should we try and beat the camera? Camera? No, I want to get out. You're not going anywhere, son.
slow and held up, take these boys. Come on, boys, take us. Yeah. See nobody coming. Look at that. Easy. Street. Oh, I didn't realise that. I'm looking for my hotel. It's called the Real Auto. Well, I'll look at your driver's license. I haven't got it on me at the moment. I've left it at the hotel. Well, what's the name of the hotel you're looking it's for? It's the Real Auto. I just told you what it was called. I just asked a cop, a friend of yours, probably down the road there, and he says to me, come up here. And I mean, I wish you'd make your minds up, you, you just know? Just we'll get a call. You get back in and drive. You're very lucky, sir. Another thing, never leave your engine running when the car's unoccupied. It's an offence. Next time. Right, eh? Come on, let's go into town. Dump this mother. Something here for you. There you are. Sort of that. There's a good boy. Well done. There we are. It's only a joke, really. What is? Everything that I've told today. Everything. Is that hurting you again? Yes, well, it is time you should be asleep now. Okay? Good night. He's a good boy. Come on. Don't you like walking or something? I always dump my cars down there. Smell the restaurants load off their shit. Be covered in curry in the morning. He'll never find it. Are you hungry? No, you're not going anywhere. You're coming with me, all right? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm gonna get everything they got in here for a quid. Watch. Evening. I'm sorry a bit late. We got a bit held up. You late, people for two? Yeah, listen, it's my kid brother's birthday today, all right? Can I take your coat? No, thanks. I've got a bit of a cold. I need my one. It'd be all right, haven't I? Might go upstairs. Yeah, all right. Come on. Look at them on their night out. <laughs> right. I'll have a 24, a 31, a 16, a 66, a 98, a 10 and a 37. And I'll have a bottle of champagne and get a Coke for the kid, all right? Yes. Anything else? I'm not hungry. I don't want anything. Yes, you do. I don't want to eat. You're going to? <laughs> Quick, we're in a hurry. Now relax, right? Because this might be the last good meal either one of us has. 
They're trying to work out who I am already. How are you gonna pay for it? You'll see. Of course, New York was really bad. I mean, it's the worst in New York, isn't it? We so hot in the studio, we had to work in the nude. You ought to say something. It's meant to be your birthday. I'm okay. <laughs> you can't pay for it. There's not the money to pay for it. Ah, uh, the kid's not used to being taken out. He thinks he might have to pay for it. You ungrateful little bastard. You don't realise how lucky you are. Who's gonna pay the bill? You don't have to worry about a little thing like that. I've got it. I've got the only fork here. People would give their left arm for one of these. Could cause a lot of trouble with one of these in a place like this. Couldn't you? Huh? Do I make myself clear, huh? I'm not gonna eat anything. Anyway, so Dave had to go in the studio to get this lineup. And uh, he had an accident, couldn't remember his lines on the new album. You know, the ones don't spit on her body, don't spit on her hair. Yeah, he did it 47 times, couldn't get it right. Don't spit on her, don't piss on her body. Don't piss on her hair, don't piss on her body. Don't piss. What are we doing here anyway? Huh? Can you tell me that? Because I know why you're here. You don't know at all. Why don't you just eat something and don't worry? Go on. I've got to make a phone call to my agent. I think I've got to go and do a chat show on Thursday. Be a bit of a boy if I do. Hang on a minute. Just go down the phone, all right? <laughs> Is there anything you're wanting? I'm just waiting for my brother. It's your birthday. <laughs> You don't like this? All right. Well, the kid's as much use as anybody. Oh, no, no, no. Won't have to wait for him. Oh, no. Won't have to slip anymore. Oh, no. Are you 
sure you'd want to stay with us. I could get you off if you No, no problem, no problem. I hear you've been with us lot for four years. That's the way I like it. Oh, by the way, um, I think this belongs to you, doesn't it? <laughs> Him and his bloody cocktail parties. Where is everybody? Hello. Uh, put another phone call through to the boy's parents, eh? No, no. I'm just going to wait till they find the boy. Check on the buses leaving for Cambridge, will you? He must be somewhere, isn't he? Eleven year old kid, for Christ's sake. You know why we're working in here tonight, don't you? There's a station on a Saturday night, it's like a foot odor commercial for the telly. No answer, sir. What? From the parents. Oh. Are you all right, sir? Yes, yes, I'm fine. Just have a word with that Leo. What have you forgotten? Look like a kid doing your homework. I think we might need a bed for the night for you. Williams! Well, where is he then? You better go and check the toilets. Sister! Nurse! Leo! Leo! Where is everybody? He's not there, sir. Well, listen, now we don't have either kid. Where's the nurse? I don't know, sir. What's the matter with the lift, sir? They're not working, sir. Well, we better get in pay, sir. Where is everyone, Williams? I think there's some kind of overtime ban on, sir. Overtime ban? I don't believe it, Jesus. Well, you know... You know how to run this thing? I have no idea, sir. Where's the bastards that run this place? It's the same every Saturday night, isn't it? Oi, excuse me, how... Oi, what? Better split up, eh? I'll stay down here. Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, Leo. Hey, Leo. Oh, does Stay there. It's dangerous. You're not fighting a vice. No. Look, there they go. 
I was just wondering where he's hiding. Don't worry. We'll find him. There's nothing much else on tonight. What are you? You got nothing on your feet. Come on. You gonna do a seize then? You enjoy that. He's always talking about it. He wanted to jump from the top of one block of flats to the other. Fly in between them. With all the police watching him. Oh, well, let's hope he doesn't try to show us then, eh? Mm. Don't worry, though. We'll find him in time. Are you very ambitious? Do you want to be top policeman? Chief commissioner? I don't think I'll make police commissioner. Not quite. You'll get on. You're quite good. Better than the others. Thanks. But we'll see. Where did you say you found him, Williams? I just found him, sir. You're a bloody liar. What about that phone call? I was just about to do that, sir. That's the third time you've forgotten the day, isn't it? I won't have slackness in my unit, Williams. I'm going to put you on a charge for this. I won't have it, you understand? Hey, where are you going? Come back here. Hey, I've been looking for you all over the bloody hospital. What are you doing out of bed? I was looking for Mike. Trying to find him for you. Mike? You're any worse bloody liar than he is, aren't you? You're not allowed to touch him. Oh, really, really? You're not allowed to hit me. Oh, know it all, don't we? Right, you lose right, your right, job. Room, Williams. And Williams, get yourself off up. And then you transferred in the morning. I know where he is. I can tell you where he is. Just shut up and stay where we put him. This is the 51st car I've nicked. Where's the hospital? I've got to get to the hospital. Is he dead, you reckon? He just can't be. I'm sure about it. See, because I didn't really hurt him at all. It was just a joke. This blood isn't real. It was a game. You should have told him by now. Ages ago. But I understand it wasn't real. The people have got to realise. You too. Now listen, you should know better than to lie to me. First of all, I don't believe anybody ever. And secondly, I can tell. That's real blood. That's real blood. You've got to learn to trust me and I can manage a way out of this mess for you. Why should I trust you? You left me in a restaurant. I was just training you. For what? You've got to learn to watch me very carefully. Every single thing I do. And you might just have a chance. Your only chance. All right? <laughs> Look at them. What do they look like? They change their bloody hairstyles every week. They don't know what they want. They got no idea at all. They got no idea about anything. What are you talking to me? I ate this time on a Saturday night. People full of booze, just throwing up everywhere. Trying to do something special, trying to be different. But you have, haven't you? Yeah, it was quite a surprise, that. You're going to be quite famous for a brief moment. What should we do with this motor? Should we drive it in the sea? I've got to get rid of it soon. Maybe on the mud flats. do it for a moment. I nearly did. You missed your chance, though, didn't you? I haven't even started.
I know who he is. He's at my sister's. I know he is. I tried, it was only a sister. Why is this job being so difficult? This is no job for a grown man, you realise that? He's at my sister's. You've got to do something. Go on.
in here? Leo's out. The hospital keep ringing up. Each time I think it's going to be for me. Leo's been in some fight or other. He's all right, though. He is, so he's all right, then. I spoke to him. And what's he doing? What's he doing, Susan? He's staying there the night. So out of my way. I'm busy now. Did he say what he'd done? Did he? He's probably enjoying himself. A night away from home. I would. There's a party down the street. Susan, I've been hearing it all the evening. I can't stand this. Right. What have you done to yourself? You've got blood all over you. Come here. There isn't time. We've got to get that out. Come here. Now, don't play around with me. I've had to stay here all night. Remember that? You look filthy. Hey, you got a bit rust. Where? Now look, this is gonna be freezing cold. You look terrible. Uh, We're in the hospital. Find out what he's doing. I'm gonna find the number. What's the number? Don't shout at me, or I won't do anything for you. Now why do you want to ring the hospital? You're gonna ring it for me now. Calm down. Then ring it for me. Okay. Nothing but trouble ever since I met you. Let me ask you, start it again. She wants more money. Money, money, money. I'm 45 years old. Uh, it's a telephone call for you. It's your sister. And you really shouldn't be receiving telephone calls this time of the night. Hello, Susan. It's too late to talk. Mike, it's you. Everybody's looking for you. You stay where you are, Mike. Then you can tell them everything. They put me in a room of my own. And I've been on the roof. I've told them lots of exciting things about you. You sound really good. There's lots of police here. I thought you'd be at Susan's. You know what the time is? No. Must be getting late. I've got to make some phone calls. Have you got any two peas? No. I told you to stay where you were. They've all gone. They're looking for you. All over town, you can hear them. I've sent them everywhere. They've come back, I've sent them downstairs. Well, they don't have to find you, though. Not if you're quick. What do you mean? Why haven't you told them? Because I wanted them to go on, so I didn't tell them. Didn't think about me, did you? Of course I thought about you. You wanted to be chased. Only for a minute or so. So I made it happen. You'll never forget this night. It's the most important night of your life. Look, where is everybody? Nowhere to be seen. They've left this on. What are you doing? They've done everything I told them. I've had all the ideas. Stop it! All of them! 
Stop! See what I mean? They don't know what they're doing. None of them, they don't. I know what to do, just what to do. What's this? Can I make it worse? I tell you. 